Today's topic is brought to us by forecaster Larry Sprinkle of the First Ward Storm Team. He's talking about one of my favorite things I like to talk about is weather balloons. People don't realize we still launch weather balloons twice a day across the entire world. Helps give us upper air soundings, basically the atmosphere sampling from the ground to the top of the atmosphere. It's really crucial to our mathematical modeling that we do uh, for the weather. Now with the, the coronavirus going on, planes are really have been down. The amount of flights has dropped so dramatically worldwide that aircraft, which normally collect data every time they take off and land, is also reducing the number of upper air observations. So these weather balloons are becoming even increasingly more important. Uh, many folks may not realize every aircraft that takes off and lands collects weather data um, as it flies and it goes into our mathematical modeling. So the fact that we've lost so many flights actually has reduced the number of those observations by like 10 to 15,000 per cycle of models. So it's a really big deal. So Larry's gonna talk about the weather balloon today. It's a really cool topic at the end. I'll show you a website if you wanna go check some of the uh, current soundings. It's kind of a cool thing to see a profile of the atmosphere. But today's topic, weather balloons. Yes, balloons. Well, not really this kind of balloon right here, the kind you fill with air. You can, you know, you can throw darts at it. You can pop it. You can put water in it. You can do all kinds of fun things with balloons, but it's a whole different type of balloon. We'll get to that in just a minute. I did want to talk about being outside this time of the year, how important that is and how much fun it can be to get that fresh air. And when you're outside, always look around you. Be aware of what's going on around you, your surroundings. That's important because as you look around you, you may also want to look up in the sky. That's where our weather takes place. You have to look up and around. You'll see the clouds build up. You see the, the puffy, fun cumulus clouds. You may see the stratus clouds that just cover the sky, or maybe the big cumulonimbus clouds that have the storms in them. It could be raining or snowing or whatever. And so where do we get this information? Well, it's, it's so important that our friends at the National Weather Service provide all that. They use these very special instruments that are positioned all over the United States, and each one can, for example, give us the temperature, the humidity, the air pressure, the wind speed, wind direction, things like that. That's all measured around the United States and around the world. We get all that to help us forecast the weather. And once again, our friends at the National Weather Service provide that. That's at the surface. That's at the ground surface. But weather takes place, as I said, up in the atmosphere, thousands of feet up. So how do we get that information? Well, every single day of the year, 900 weather balloons, weather balloons are released worldwide and 92 of those are in the United States. 92 sites in the United States are released those twice a day and they're released up into the atmosphere and they start out looking like this. That uh, not, is not inflated yet, but that's uh, gonna eventually be about six feet in diameter once it's filled with either hydrogen or helium. Either one of those two will uh, help to uh, allow that to be released up in the atmosphere. And you can see this is right before it's released. This is, this is it right here, almost ready to go outside and be released up into the atmosphere. And once that happens, that's when all the important information comes out. Now, attached to that is what's called a radio sign. It's a simple little box. It's, this one's called microsign, but there are sensors attached to that and they can give us the temperature, they can give us the air pressure, the relative humidity, and attached to that is a transmitter that sends a signal back to Earth once that goes up into the atmosphere. Here it is, ready to be released. You can see it's attached to the balloon back there. And at a particular time, that balloon is released. And here you can see it. There is the balloon about six feet in diameter. There is a parachute attached to it. And there's a radio sign. That parachute is there because once that balloon goes up high enough to about 100,000 feet, it pops and that parachute will actually gently take the radio sound and it will land back on Earth. So it's released up into the atmosphere. It will travel up to about 20 miles and as it's going up, it's sending all this information back and it gives us every part of the atmosphere. Every single part of the atmosphere can tell us what's going on thousands of feet up to give us what's called a profile of the atmosphere to tell us at each one of those particular elevations the air temperature the humidity the wind speed the wind direction 
And as you can see, there it goes as it gently flies up into the sky, collecting all of that important information up into the atmosphere. And as it travels up and go, it can go out about 125 miles away from where it was released. That's where we can get the, the wind speed and the wind direction, all of that important information. Once it gets up to about 100,000 feet, it will actually explode. And at that point, it's not six feet in diameter. It's about 20 to 30 feet in diameter. And then where the air is very, very thin, it explodes. The parachute will take the radio sun back to earth and and i want to show you a picture right here thanks to our friends at the late night astronomy up in roanoke virginia late night astronomy this is a picture right here of the weather balloon right before it explodes and this is the picture of the balloon exploding that's right it just disintegrates up in the atmosphere and the next frame the next picture right there is the parachute you can actually see the uh, the parachute right there that's the parachute and right here is the radio sign and that will float it back to earth so really fascinating when you think about it these balloons are sent up every single day if it weren't for those balloons it would almost be impossible to produce the weather because we need to know what's going on at the surface and thousands of feet up into the atmosphere and that gives us a profile of our world our atmosphere to show what's going on at any particular time so we can tell you when it's going to rain it's going to snow when there's going to be severe weather it can help us determine when there's going to be tornadoes all that's so very important and it's that weather balloon that does that and uh, it's just something to think about the next time you're playing with one of those where, where's my balloon hold on a minute yeah, right. Here's my one. When you're thinking about those little balloons that maybe are filled with helium and you let them be released, that there are weather balloons released every single day that help us do our job so much better. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, weather balloons are really, really crucial to what we do. And if you want to go check out what the weather balloon's doing right now, they're launched every morning and every evening um, during Zulu time. We use 12Z and 0Z. So this time of year, that is uh, basically 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. So um, with the time change, it'll go back to 7 p.m. and 7 a.m., at least Eastern time. Um, just to show you real quickly, I'm going to show you a, a, a place you can go and check these out. The Storm Prediction site um, actually has a page of observed soundings. So you you can look at this morning soundings and you can see a map here on the left shows you all of the locations the closest upper air sounding to us or weather balloon launch point is up at greensboro believe it or not the next one is down towards uh, uh, atlanta so they're spaced out they're not every location so if you look here this is actually a look at the sounding from this morning. The red line is the temperature with height. The green line is the dew point. You can see how the winds change direction. So the ground is right here and the top of the atmosphere, basically where the weather balloon exploded, usually when it gets into the stratosphere, shows up there as well. So if you want to go check that out, it's kind of a cool thing to track. I'd look at this every day um, for severe weather parameters. And uh, the th first thing I noticed looking at this, yeah, we probably do have a little chance of some uh, pop-up thunderstorms today the, there's some other graphs on here that are much more complicated but if you want to see what the profile of the atmosphere looks like um, you can go to the storm prediction center site it's spc.noaa.gov backslash xpair that you see up here and then soundings or uh, analysis so just go to the spc page you can find it up at the top it's a really cool page to go look for some of those soundings